Do you think if somebody besides Zelensky were in power, do you think that how how much do you think him as a person and as a leader has has helped Ukraine up to this point? And do you think it would be differently if even somebody else with his same political leanings were in power? Very important, very important. The right, uh, the right person at the right time in the right place. Um, Ukraine, Ukrainian people got really very lucky having uh, Zelensky at that moment in in, uh, in 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 the history at the helm. Uh, that being said. Um, um, uh, his, his, his biggest strength is still basically being able to, to channel the, 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 the feelings, the, 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 the um, determination of, of Ukrainians as a whole. At no point uh, in, in the war, even in the worst weeks, the first weeks of the war, there were less than uh, 70 to 80 percent of Ukrainians who uh, believed, according to the polling data, in victory. And uh, it, it was almost surreal in early March to read that, th those numbers. Um, uh, but uh, I would say that probably if we take, let's say, 75 percent, uh, at least 15 percent of that of, of those of those 75 would be would be Zelensky's. But there was 60 that, that, that were not Zelensky. And Zelensky took 60 and turned it into 80, and now into 90. And Zelensky can achieve with one tweet things that, that uh, is difficult to achieve otherwise. He also makes some people unhappy that he talks to the people uh, sometimes above the heads of their leaders <laughs> and gets people on his side. Uh, so um, that's 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 uh, that, 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 that is quite phenomenal. Mm, uh, but again, uh, the, the, there is also a bigger bigger story behind that, and that story is that um, I don't I don't think I, I certainly don't remember either personally or through reading relevant, relevant literature that there was. Uh, ever such clarity about the war moral clarity of who is aggressor, who is victim, probably since World War II. In some, in some books, the, the World War II called uh, a good war in, in terms of, if you look at it from perspective of Korea, you look at that from the perspective of Vietnam, Afghanistan, it was the war for the right cause. You knew you knew where where the good guys were, where the bad guys were. You knew what what it was happening, and then there was a lot of shades of gray with many other wars. And the Ukrainian war, uh, it's not just U.S. experience, but also but also European. Uh, the, the, there is very little gray. There is very little gray. It's it's unprovoked aggression. It's the case, first case in the 20th century since uh, for the annexation of the territories by a bigger country. And uh, then there is absolutely phenomenal uh, resistance of, of a smaller nation to a bigger one when no one was mm, given Ukraine mm, uh, a chance to, to last for more than two weeks. Blitzkrieg. That's that's what Putin was planning. That's what the the uh, American intelligence services were saying. It can be a blitzkrieg of, of, within two weeks. And given that the U.S. intelligence services got right Putin's uh, Putin's intentions almost to the day of the of the attack. Uh, it was very difficult to dismiss also other part of, of, of uh, uh, prediction coming from, from the U.S. intelligence services that Ukraine could, probably would not last and Ukraine lasts. So all of these things certainly certainly came together and, and again, uh, Zelensky became the face of that and, and the voice of, 